Okay, thank you. So I'm, I'm Inor Chris from the Department of Physics, Tohoku University. So this is my first opportunity to participate in a live conference. So I'm very excited to be able to talk about my work. Oh. Okay, so this is my favorite movies, the reproduction of bacterial cells. So generally speaking, we can find three features behind the, such a living system. First one is the metabolism. That means the, they have a complicated reaction networks inside a cell. And second, they also have a gene that is information molecules, DNA. And based on the genetic information of DNA, they show such a reproduction that is a recursive growth and division of cells. So my motivation and my key question is, what bridges the gap between the simple non-living molecular assembly and the complex living system? This is my motivation. And I am taking a synthetic approach. So this illustration is the uh, extremely rough view of the essential uh, chemical pathways in cells. So generally speaking, they have three chemical units. First one is, is for the energy currency production. That is that they synthesize energy currency molecules, ATP from glucose. And using energy currency molecules, they replicate genetic information polymer DNA. And based on the genetic information, they synthesize uh, biopolymer proteins using, again, energy currency molecules and amino acids. And with the help of catalytic polymer protein, they synthesize lipid molecules using the byproduct of glucolysis. And finally, the lipid molecules are incorporated into the cell membrane, and they show the reproduction of cells. And I'm taking an artificial model system uh, approach. That means the they such a model system should show the three features that is uh, uh, metabolism genes and reproductions and such a essential three features in biological system should be redesigned artificially and concisely as a model system and as a model system such a behavior should be described kinetically and theoretically from the viewpoint of physics and chemistry so this is my approach Okay, and very recently, I have succeeded in constructing uh, such, a, such a system. I, I call it a uh, synthetic minimal cell system. This is illustration is an uh, overview of the chemistry. This system has three units, energy currency unit, information polymer unit, and membrane unit. And coupled with such a chemical system, they show the recursive reproduction like this. Today, I will talk about my system. Okay, so firstly, I, I will talk about the artificial metabolism system that is a chemical setup of my system. So here, simply speaking, a vesicle locates at the bottom of the nutrient medium. The nutrient medium have the three groups of molecules. The first one is for the energy currency production that is a dissolved oxygen and enzyme glucose oxidase. And the second group is the annular molecules and the another enzyme, host radish peroxidase. And the third one is for the membrane, and that, that is a free membrane molecules. More specifically, the vesicle is uh, composed by the, this AOT molecules. And toward this nutrient medium and the vesicles, I supplied uh, food molecules like this. The food molecules is glucose and uh, membrane forming, uh, vesicle forming molecules. And this is the actual picture of my experimental setup. So this is the optical microscope. And this is a sample chamber containing vesicles and nutrient medium. And toward this sample chamber, the food molecules are supplied by micro-injection technique. Okay, so here the supplied glucose molecules react with enzyme glucose oxidase. And here the dissolved oxygens are chemically converted to the hydrogen peroxide H2O2. So this H H2O2 is a reaction trigger molecule in my system that is the energy molecules to trigger the whole downstream chemical reactions. And using this energy molecules, hydrogen peroxide, this molecule react with another enzyme, horseradish peroxidase, and, and with anilin molecules. And anilin molecules are polymerized on the surface of the vesicle membrane to form polyanilin. This polyanilin is uh, is work, uh, it works as a catalytic polymer for the vesicular reproduction system. More specifically, the, on the surface of AOT vesicular membrane, like this, the specific, specific form of polyanilin called PANI-ES structures, this green guy, 
is synthesized in the presence of specific interaction between vascular membranes and the polymers. Finally, the supplied uh, free membrane molecules are bound by this interaction to the vascular surface and then incom incorporated into the vascular membrane. Then they show vascular growth. So this is a brief explanation of my artificial metabolism system that is a experimental setup of my system. So what is interesting is that this polyanilin, the pan es structure, can encode vascular forming molecule in a sense. The, such a polyanilin is formed and bound to the vascular surface, and this is confirmed by the Raman mapping technique using the uh, characteristic Raman, Raman peak for the pan es we can map the distribution of pan es Yeah, comparing these two pictures, we can obviously see that the pan es structures is almost homogeneously distributed on the vascular surface. And again, interestingly, such a specific form of polyanilin can, its it structures depend on the vascular structures. Anilin molecules is oxidized with the help of energy molecules, hydrogen peroxide to anilin radical cations. And these cations are polymerized in the presence of vascules. Interestingly, uh, this is the uh, characteristic, uh, the, the, the measurement for the absorption spectrum and the structures of, of the polyanilin is uh, also characterized by APR measurements and Raman spec spectrum measurements. And this red curve represent the polyanilin structure obtained in the presence of AOT vascules. AOT vascular is uh, sulfonated vascules. And in the presence of such vascules, the polymerization of anilin uh, result in the specific form structures called pan es like, a linear, like linear structures. In contrast, in the absence of any vascular structures or in the presence of non-sulfonated vascules like uh, DOPC vascules, in this case, is the polyanilin, the polymerization of anilin result in the, how to say, the random structure, that means extensively branched and the mixture of compound is obtained. So in a sense, the specific property of, of AOT vascules is encoded in a specific form of polyanilin, that is uh, PAN-ES. And again, interestingly, the, this PAN-ES structure encourages the vascular membrane growth by incorporating free membrane molecules from the bulk solution. So this is the uh, optical microscopy images. So PAN-ES synthesis is very rapid process. And in, the, it's in response to the supply of food molecules, the PAN-ES is uh, quickly synthesized on the vascular surface. And PAN-ES helps uh, the incorporation of free membrane molecules from bulk solution to the uh, vascular membrane. And then the vascular membrane shows the membrane growth like this. And such a membrane growth is quantified like this. This is time seconds, and this is a uh, normalized surface area. And coupled with uh, the chemical system, the vascular membrane show the uh, expo ex exponential membrane growth like this. And this is uh, very characterized by the kinetic model, which I will skip today. But uh, what is important is that, that between the vascules and the polymer, there is a mutual catalytic relationship. That means uh, some property of uh, vascules, that is a sulfonated vascular structure, is somewhat encoded as a specific form of polyanilin, PAN-ES. And such a PAN-ES structure works as a catalytic polymer to encourage the vascular membrane growth. Such a mutual catalytic relationship is heart of, of my synthetic cells. Okay, so I have talked about the chemical aspect like this. They have the three chemical unit. However, in order to realize the uh, reproduction, we need a physical aspect that is membrane physics. In order to realize uh, such a reproduction cycle of vascules, okay, I have talked about the membrane, membrane growth, but uh, in addition to the membrane growth, such a growing vascule should deform to the such a limiting shape vascules. And these neck structures have to be destabilized and, and divided into the two separated vascules. And such two daughter vascules have to recover their size to the initial mother vascules. This is a reproduction cycle. 
Okay, so here from the viewpoint of membrane physics, spontaneous curvature of membrane is very important. So, and this is the phase diagram of stable vessel shape based on the membrane elasticity theory. Here, the stable, stable vessel shape is described by the two physical parameter. First parameter is the volume to surface ratio. That means uh, one means a uh, completely spherical vesicles, and less than one means a uh, flabby and deformable vesicle shape. And the second important parameter is the spontaneous curvature of the membrane. And with this, the with almost around zero spontaneous curvature, the spherical membrane can deform to the prorate shape coupled with the membrane growth. However, in order to realize the reproduction cycle of vesicles, we can see that the, we need a, the positive value of spontaneous curvature to take this pathway. So here, the molecular shape is very important. The cylindrical molecular, um, cylindrical vesicle forming molecules can be assembled to form almost flat membrane. This is the almost zero spontaneous curvature to form such a prorate shape, this pathway. In contrast, uh, when, we, when we use an inverse cone shape like this, these molecules can be assembled to form, uh, how to say, the uh, stably curved membrane like this with the positive value of spontaneous curvature and resulting to form a high curvature shape like this. So this pathway. So towards the AOT single component vascular membrane, I implemented second membrane molecule that is 10% cholesterol, which has very small head group and bulky tail group. So with this, I can, uh, in response to the supply of food molecules, I can, I, I could uh, uh, succeed in constructing the spontaneous membrane growth and deformation and division like this. So this is the initial mother vesicles and coupled with the artificial metabolism system. The, they show the spontaneously uh, generate the data vesicles and again the another data vesicles and again multiple smaller data vesicles uh, like this. And this is the time course of the movies, but obviously we can see that the size of the vesicles decrease with over and over time and generations like this. This is because, uh, okay, this graph is me, represents the total surface area and the total volume of all vesicles. So the size decrease is because the, uh, oh, there is no mechanism to inflate the vesicle volume. So the vest size of the vesicle decreases with generations. So finally, I, I introduced the volume recovery uh, mechanism. In the, in the standard technique to inflate the vesicles, the, yeah, we, we encapsulate the high concentration solutions comparing to the external solution, then water, inf inflow in, uh, water flow into the vesicles, then the vesicle inflate. But in this case, the system goes, goes quickly to the equilibrium. So in order to realize a, a sustainable volume recovery, I designed the, the asymmetric permeation system that is basically encapsulate hard to permeable solid molecules and the external solution contains easy to permeable solid molecules. In this case, the asymmetric permeation coupled with the continuous water inflow, then the vesicle shows a sustainable volume recovery like this. So finally, and this is main result, I integrated all the physical reproduction processes and all the chemical processes into the single system. And this is the initial mother vesicles and A represent surface area and V represent volume. And the initial mother vesicles uh, in response to the supply of food molecules, the initial mother vesicles show the spontaneous growth and division like this. And this left vesicles again, yeah, this vesicle again uh, showed the growth and division like this. And waiting some seconds, these data vesicles and grand data vesicles recovered their volume to the initial size of their mother vesicles like this. So this is this is triggered by uh, this is spontaneously triggered by the supply of food molecules, and this is my the synthetic minimal cell system. Finally, I will talk about the reproducibility. So I performed 50 experiments, and the 40 vesicles reached to the uh, fourth generation, that means the production of grand, grand data vesicles. 
And this movie represents the three vesicles under the supply of food molecules. And these three vesicles showed growth and division at almost the same time like this. Here. So this means the same, same experimental condition, the same result. Okay, so summary, the, my key question and my motivation was how simply reproduction system emerged from non-living simple molecular assembly. And I took the artificial model approach like this, that is uh, concise chemistry and clear physics. And I focus on the polyanilin, the PAN-ES. Such this catalyzes the uh, basic reproduction and all chemical system is constructed on the external surface of the vesicles, not inside. And I, the reproduction cycle of vesicles is designed based on membrane elasticity model, and such a reproduction is triggered, uh, spontaneously triggered by the food supply. And this is my original paper of my synthetic minimal cells, and this is a review paper. So thank you for listening.